Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for the zany Rick and Morty. Season 3, episode number 4. What are you looking at me like? It's zany. <laughs> I hey, don't forget the subscribe button, man. If y'all like me doing crazy zany stuff like this. And the notification bell. Um, and the um, subscription. The what? <laughs> subscription. <laughs> Alright, executive producer list says as best episode I have seen so far in this whole series. Rick went full John Wick yeah. mode, and I loved every minute of it. Can't wait for the next one. Very yeah. creative. It was uh, crazy. Yeah. Alright, let's get to episode four right now. Don't let any of those things get away, Morty. If their DNA gets into Earth's food chain, our entire species could be sterilized. Then why aren't we killing them? Right, next time I need a species sterilized, who's gonna do it for me? You. Oh my god. Well, Rick, is that the Vendor Beacon? We're being called to assemble by the Vindicators. I refuse to answer a literal call to a Vindicator. Let it go to voicemail. Rick, the Vindicators only call when the universe itself is at stake. They're the first line of defense against evil. They're the guardians of the unguarded. They're the writers of their own press releases, Morty. They're a bunch of drama queens that spend an hour talking and 20 minutes jumping around while shit blows up. They're a phase. You <laughs> did one. It was the big event of that summer. Let it die. I, Morty Smith, invoke my right to choose one in every ten Rick and Morty adventures. God. Read them and wait. Fucking damn it. One in every ten. I didn't warn you. Yes! Vindicator command ship beacon received. We're doing Vindicators too! Whoops. Uh, Morty, you might want to freeze some sperm. Whoops! <laughs> Vindicators, World Ender is back, and this time he's out to end more than worlds. We have reason to believe his stronghold is located on my balls. Rick. The Tyrannius system. Once in range, million ants will scan for pheromones. Wait, this is the right a the location of the base. Oh, oh that's million yeah. ants. I can't see the ants from over here. I just assumed that was a uh, turd man. Wiggly turd man. Rick, stop. Rick, you have something to add to the briefing? Uh, yeah, just a few more design notes. Um. This guy, the, uh, the, uh... I am Krokubot. <laughs> right, Krokubot. So, you're half cold, unfeeling reptile, half also cold, equally unfeeling machine. Yes. Wow. So, your origin is what? You, you, you fell into a vat of redundancy? <laughs> God damn! <laughs> God damn! If I can continue, Rick, I anticipate sophisticated security measures. I trust you can be of service there. Well, let me check my list of powers and weaknesses. Ability to do anything, but only whenever I want. Yeah, it sounds like a job for me. I wish he had the ability to check his attitude. Alan Rails, ladies and gentlemen. After his parents' tragic death in a railroad accident, he gained the power to summon ghost trains. It's not all bad, though. Ghost they trains. They were spared having to see their grown son wear a whistle. God damn! Yeah. <laughs> this guy gets it. God damn! It's Maximus, renegade star soldier. Sorry I'm late. It was happy hour. Yeah. <laughs> happy hour. Uh, I was also late because of my drinking and mentioned it to zero applause. Rick Sanchez, tinkerer of terror. Man, that's hard to say. And Morty, right? Whoa, yeah. I never forget a kid. What do you say, Vindicators? Let's make this three for three. <laughs> All right. Did he say three for three? Did he say he never forgets a kid? You mean two for two, right, Vance? Oh, Actually, do. we assembled a second time last summer to fight Doomnomatron. Doomnomatron? So this is Vindicators 3? And you guys did Vindicators 2? Powerful than these guys every week. Yeah, but not heroes. Oh, please. They just call themselves heroes so they can- I'm calling them that, Rick. They're my heroes. Mine. Mm. Huh. No accounting for taste. I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Good morning, Vindicators. Ship has arrived at Tyrannia's system. All Vindicators report to the briefing room. The the room from the uh the, it's the di it's a different room than the conference room. I'm sorry. It's my first day as a PA system. <laughs> first day jitters. Gosh. <laughs> oh my God. Good morning. Oh my God. Looks like your grandpa had a long night. Crocubot, why don't you escort Mr. Me, Sanchez yes, to a more comfortable spot so that someone can <sighs> clean up his diarrhea? Well, I'm nervous about my first mission. Actually, new you are new. God damn. Vindicators, go for arrival. I'm nervous about my first mission. I had a chat this morning, and I'm afraid we need to make a little change. Oh, I, I totally get it. I, I'm so sorry. You should be. Running around in a yellow t-shirt like you're not one of us. 
disgraceful. Uh, I, 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 you know, one I'm not a superhero. Cap Squat, Chief. Everyone in the universe is a hero. All you have to do is know the difference between good and bad and root for good. Rick says good and bad are artificial constructs. Yeah, well, I get the feeling he kind of needs that to be the case. Not coming, Noob Noob? Huh? Oh, no, I, I got stuff to do here. Noob Noob? Yeah. Oh, me, yeah. <laughs> Star Mother, grant me your wrath. We can't leave now. He's right. This is far from over. Well, have fun with that, but Morty and I have to meet a lady comet, a monorail man, two assholes, and a full alligator in like an hour. Do the full alligator. <laughs> I sense the presence of a greater evil. Check, check, one, two. Okay, is it recording? Good. Hello, Vindicators! Welcome to wow. your Reckoning, baby! Oh, God. Well, it's official. I had too much to drink last night. It's official. He kept so he, he did kept the he guy. Did, he did this all. You're watching this. You're, you know, the Vindicators. So now that we know the Rick? What's going on, buddy? Obviously, I came here last night during a blackout. Obviously? You came here and defeated our arch nemesis while so drunk you don't remember doing it? That's something obvious to you? Look, I'm a, a little more complex than you guys, and no offense, but I've always suspected that a lot of what you do in a year can be knocked out in a couple of hours. Uh, so I thought, why not just do your job for you so we can have a little fun game? Rick, is, is this a saw thing? Are you seriously saw? Is this saw a saw thing? Indicators? Morty, I'm a drunk, not a hack. If you break the rules, lose the game, or try to leave, you will die. Like in uh, saw. Uh, well, I, I think we've seen enough. I'll just figure out how to unplug this. Here we go. Rule number one. The Vindicators are not throughout the galaxy, but do they know yourselves? Do you know yourselves? Match your, your shit, your, your gimmicks with your faces, and you, you, you get it. It's a matching thing. And do it in three minutes or you all die. Screw this. I'm not playing this game. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Vance. He said you'd die if you tried to leave. That means there's booby traps. Why are you acting like that's not you? What part of blackouts don't you understand? I thought you drank. Like cool drinking, like sexy drinking. Not this psycho trailer park shit. Yes, <laughs> psycho, psycho trailer park so you're shit. You're now because we gave you a jacket? You're the learning disabled kid we do photo ops with. Okay. Uh, ouch, but... Okay, this, this is triggering me. I need space. I need space from this! Well... Damn! Alan was. If you lay those bits in my doorstep one more time, do not threaten her. Congrats, you did it! What the hell is Israel? It's just something Rick starts talking about when he's blackout drunk. What? what, what Israel. No, what, what, what's my point? In a way that has no point? You just babble about defense budgets in the United Nations and then you pass out. So, to be clear, I sometimes reference the geopolitical complexities of the topic, which is not the same as going to an anti-Semitic place. I have no stake in this. I don't either. I'm, I'm just saying, if anything, the drunk version of me is probably so supportive of Israel, he wants what's best for it and- Hey, man. I'm not touching this. Hey. I'm not touching this. Aloha means hello and goodbye in Hawaii, but uh, aloha means has nothing to do with this room. <coughs> I'm so fucking drunk. Uh, okay, here's the deal. I, I want to rest my eyes for a little bit. I'm, I'm not going to sleep. I just, just need to rest my eyes. So let's make this one simple. Just try to hit some three-pointers. Let's say you have to hit five three-pointers and... Five minutes, or I don't know. The whole place, the whole planet will get blown up with a neutrino bomb. And try to make it a, a lesson about yourselves, like like how selfish you are, are or something. He's so also, drunk at this point, man. We can't even. Oh, you guys hit the baskets. I'll disarm the drunkenly improvised neutrino bomb. There's a 40% chance it's a dud, but you should still stay back. Morty, how many of these? Too many, Rick. Too many. Too how many of these have you had to do? I'm really getting high roaded today. Getting high roaded. <laughs> That's a three-pointer. Nice shot. Thank you. You two make quite a team. Oh. We all do. Yeah, I guess. 
That's a three-pointer. You guys have always had an unspoken bond. I mean, really unspoken. Like, let's not tell my husband unspoken. We aren't married anymore, Alan. Sure. But were we married when you two God were damn. stranded on Delphi six for three days? Because I sensed something was weird when you came back. But what do I know about sensitivity? I'm just a fan of train conductor. You're the pile of ordinary bugs that fucked my wife. As I'm drunk, so, you know, it just it looks like I'm never gonna see you I mean, why did he build all this shit, shit like last night? They, they don't want me around, but I want you to know, even if I didn't show it at the time, I really appreciated you sticking by me. God damn it, why am I crying? This makes no sense. Ugh, you're, you're probably confused because we barely know each other, but you really stuck your neck out when you gave me props for my awesome jokes in the briefing room. Oh my god, he's talking about the little guy there. So far up their ass. God damn, that guy. Son. It's like, oh, oh the Vindicator is so cool. I mean, he's a moron. That's their demographic. You're different, Noob Noob. Mother Noob. Father. You're fucking cool, and you're smart, and I noob, noob. we could have hung out and shit, and I hope you get to be a full-fledged vindicator. Do, do me a favor. Don't, don't let them know I, I got emotional, but you can tell them one thing. Tell them I said... Oh, fuck. Okay, I just shit myself. Okay, later. Babe, it was all for the little goddamn guy. Dude, Morty, what happened to... Shut up! I sense this means we are not dying. Not all of us. Sweetheart. Just let Tiggy Bean do this, Snuzzles. It's for the greater good. It's like you said, Morty. There's no right or wrong. Never said that. It's the galaxy's faith in the Vindicators that keeps the galaxy secure. Yeah, I feel safer already. No doubt. Who do we make the check out to? I will say, we are keeping some good licks in while choking to death, right? Tiggy Bean, listen to me. When you came to me, I, I get some good licks in while we're talking with me. It was <laughs> your beliefs, that your <laughs> pursuit of justice that taught me to be a man. When did it get so complicated? Who knows, but we can make it simple again. You were always the romantic, which is why you can't leave either. Mm. Ooh. I'm sorry, my love. She double crossed snuzzles. Silence. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh my god, he even had a party put together. Oh yeah. Look at that. Jeez, I must have planned a whole party. Invited a bunch of people. Not bad, drunk Rick. Not bad. Are you ready? There's a choo choo train man. He's rolling down tragedy. Everybody knows supernova fights gravity. Rick, supernova's getting away. Yeah, who cares? But she's trying to kill us. Morning, 20 people try to kill me every week. Right. I end up getting high with half of them. I mean, check it out. Gearhead's here. Hmm. Oh, that's gonna shoot through me. <laughs> are you a little superhero now? Everyone in the universe is a hero, Mom. Which is why we don't need jackets. And I'm pretty sure we don't need vindicators. Don't mind if I do. Hey, everybody! Look who's a vindicator! Yeah, Grandpa Rick must have gotten shit face. Shit face! Get about the one who never seems to get a chance. No, no! All the bitches come around for. No, no! His dick gets more business than. Who the fuck is new? No, no! Who the fuck is new? Yo, it's logic once again, y'all. This one's funny. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, the whole thing. Right. Like, Morty was like, I will shoot your face. Who the fuck is new? They even had a rapper come and make a song about it. Like, Noob, noob. College or? Well, yeah, I guess it let that right. Vance, fuck that guy. That guy sucks dick. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yo, did I get paid yet? Woo! I can't believe we're getting gear cream with a vindicator. So, you girls in gear college or gear? Okay, sounds like a job for me. I better go get into my alter ego. So cool. 
Oh no. Wait, what alter ego? He was already wearing the jacket. <laughs> Got no one to hold him. And <laughs> All right, that was a hilarious episode three, four of Rick and Morty, and I loved it, man. That was a great, that was almost a flawless episode to me, um, comedy-wise. I mean, it hit all the buttons right there, aside from the, the diarrhea that you know we don't get down with, that type of comedy. But other than that, everything else was hilarious in the show. I love the Vindicators. I love Rick being Rick. I love the twist at the end that Rick freaking... Did all this extra for God somebody damn. else. <laughs> for the goddamn guy about that man. <laughs> they was on the road coming over ideas for this one. Even the rapper at the end. All the details was there for sure, man. So I had a really great time with this episode. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It's just getting better and better. Rick and Morty, let's go. Yeah, I mean, again, I keep saying it every episode, but season three is just lit. Um, I feel like this episode yeah. had every single line you had to pay attention to because Rick was dropping bars yeah. like from the beginning of the episode all the way to the end. Um, I feel like this episode, more so than some of the other episodes, definitely uh, requ requires a second watch because yeah. I'm sure you missed some. We, we missed some of the jokes or whatever. So mm -hmm. uh, I th thought it was jam packed with hilarity. I agree. The diarrhea, I looked past it, forgot about it, don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but beyond that, everything to me was like just flawless. Yeah. Uh, I thought the execution alone on the jokes. Having the goddamn guy be the guy that he ultimately created this whole Saul world and party and everything for yeah. because he felt yeah. vindicated and his I mean, hilarity. He went deep last night. That he shit went. was crazy. And um, one even more <laughs> So good. So good. So I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah. All right, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Rick and Morty Season 3, Episode 4. And until next time, people, peace.